sparks to steal. Ha! Never seen anyone use one of those to get around. Is that how I get to Baron Light? Uh, yes, I mean, usually, but not today. Uh, not yet. And why is that? Well, the Daunt. The whole valley. It's infested with machines. I can handle machines. Oh, I'm sure you can, but uh, I'm under strict orders not to operate until the whistle down at Chain Scrape sounds the all clear. Look, I didn't come all this way just to stand around and wait. I'll crank that car down myself if I have to. Well, but then... Who would crank it back up? Fine, fine. Though, should anyone ask, it might be best to say you forced me. I see smoke. But not a lot of activity. Smoke's probably coming from something the machines wrecked. As for the quiet, well, there's a work stoppage in effect because of all the fuss. What sort of machines are causing the trouble? Nasty ones and lots of them. Bristlebacks, they're called. Strangeness is, they're not native to the dot. Just showed up all of a sudden. No hunters to kill them? We've got hunters, just none that want to cross all the boss of chain scrape. He is self-appointed. Work stoppage was his idea. Yeah, well, I'm just passing through. Got an embassy to attend. You should have said that ain't gonna happen no time soon. What are you talking about? Hear that? That's your answer. Who is that? Karja Sun Priest. Cranked him down yesterday, about an hour before the machine trouble started. He's a very important man, or so he says. That embassy at Baron Light? He's the one supposed to run it! Ah! Great. If you don't do as I say immediately, the Sun King himself shall hear of your insolence. Thanks to you, I was forced to spend the night shivering in the tent. Exposed to attack, I might have died. Oh, me you refuse to transport, but not this... This... what? This Nora girl? This savage? Besides Scallywag? Wadis. That's Aloy. Studious Wadis. Aloy? You know, savior of Meridian? Really? Well, that lessens the insult, I suppose. I came here for the Embassy of Baron Light. The way I hear it, so did you. Well, not with the valley infested. And so did Aramon proclaim the Sun Priests most precious and worthy of safekeeping. See? Scripture. I shall head to Baron Light when the captain of the Vanguard tells me the way is clear, and not a moment sooner. Fine. Captain's a friend of mine, you know? Where is Erend? Wouldn't mind speaking to someone a little more action, a little less scroll. Wadis. Studious Wadis. Studious. Wadi sent Aaron and another vanguard out at daybreak to clear the way. And so at daybreak. Hey! Shh. Down the valley then? Yeah, said they check the ruins on the left bank for tracks. Take it from there. Okay. I hear there's a work stoppage. Any way to upgrade my gear? I'll bet the Smith and Chain Scrape would let you use his workbench. As for the bristlebacks, you might want to craft some acid arrows. Hitting their canisters with those will take them down quick. Thanks. I'll find Aaron and I'll bring him back. Hey! Where do you think you're going? What? To the top of the ridge. To wait in safety. 
Sorry. Operator's under strict orders. No passengers till the whistle blows, right? That's right. <laughs> Best start cranking. <laughs> Why? Why? Jorf, would you kindly escort Studious to James Grape and wait for me there? You got it. I will find Erend, and I will help clear a path. But after that, no more excuses. Baron Light. Embassy. If such be the will of the sun. It will be. Trust me. Oh, that was a long, long intro. Ah, oh, spit a little bit. Got him. <laughs> Alright. Now it looks like we have finally arrived. We have arrived somewhat in a new area, and holy Jesus Christ almighty. Yep, this game is pretty damn big. <laughs> also got a new point here to spend as well. Uh, excuse me, breaking hot dogs. Yeah, 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 passive skills, I know. Okay, so I could do this. I can also upgrade this as well. Okay, I can't upgrade that to max. Okay. Concentration. Let's see, how about warrior? Techniques for warrior bow, specialized in close quarter combat. Survivor, infiltration. Okay, I'm getting the silent strike bonus because I really do like this. So, we get this. Self-tear, deal more tear damage while in stealth, increasing the ability to move in enemy parts. That would be good to have as well. And stealth, also good to have as well. But this is most important, is to increase silent strike uh, damage. Because once you get that maxed out and maybe you gain like maybe the best possible spear upgrade, you can one-shot enemies like crazy. Like in the first game, you can go absolutely nuts. So the stuff we got here. A lot of resources. Not sure what this is for. You can use this for sale. And then we got our pole caster here. Okay, I think we're, but we're pretty much. I'm gonna hit chain scrapes first and upgrade my bow. I'm set to go. Boom. Got some scroll here. Do that. Commander's main date. Okay, the gate between Baron Light and No Man's Land are hereby ordered shut and sealed in expect uh, expectation of an imminent embassy. None are allowed passage out of the way until further notice. No exception would be made regardless of clans, house, or tribes. Sign in the in the light does he has step fucking nut job. Oh wow, well. purple. Woo! That's lit. Get all the goodies here. Can we talk to the sun priest? Excuse me, I need to contemplate. Okay, you got stuff to say. I'll get us packed up and move us along. Okay, well, I guess we uh, get our shit upgraded. I guess. So let's take a look around this whole area here real quick. Uh, something tells me. I lord you suck. You suck. That's some pathetic jump in there. Come on. There we go. There might be a secret here. Unknown charger site. There's our campfire. Not sure where this goes. Pretty much a fast travel point. Okay. Now would be a good time to save. Woo! Wow, the game looks nice and all, but then you got the fire fact here looking absolutely ass. <laughs> Come on, game! The game looks so good, and then we get that. Like, are you kidding me? Come on. Okay, there's a lot of stuff around here, so something tells me might be some secrets here. I don't know. Well, I might find out, I guess. What the hell is that? It's like some sort of crystal. It's 
definitely not a quiz, though. I think it might be that flower collectible again. Okay, let's try to break this. Nope. Yeah, nothing's working, alright. This looks like a new area. But I'm curious where this leads to. There's a reason to add all this walks here to climb. So, gotta try to climb, I guess. Well, probably not, actually, now I'm thinking of it. Okay, I have no idea what's in this area here. Something tells me we probably should not be here. Then again, I kind of want to, so we're going to have to. Got all this area here to explore. That's where we need to go. And this is where the game really expands right there. Uh oh. Alright, well, I guess one way to find out that was down here. Probably making a big mistake. Miners. Looks like they're in some kind of trouble. Well, definitely got a bunch of machines running around here. So all this medicine here. We definitely need to pick up some medicine. Alright, what's it to be the situation here? I should check in with him. What's the situation here, guys? What's happening? You good? I, I'm okay. Thank you, Corvin. Corvin? Not, not now. Uh, uh, Easy. Whew. What happened? Explosion in the mine. Water flooded the whole place. Some of my guys are still. They're still down there. I can't, I can't stop. You've done enough. I need what, to happened? Know what happened? We use controlled blast to open up new veins in the mountain. One of them must have gone wrong. I can't. I have to go. Are you hurt? I'm... I'll live. The others. Please. How many are still down there? Corvent, how many? Uh... Two. Two, I think. Two more. I'll do what I can. Alright, I guess we're going to be doing this. It's a side quest as well. It's good to know. Alright, let's... Hopefully I don't run into anything crazy down there. Well, only one way to find out. Hems and arrows. Gotta find those two miners, quick. Do it. Yeah, we do got limited. Got limited Hello? oxygen. Can anyone hear me? I can't really do anything. You want that chest, but I can't get it though. Okay. Let's see what's go down here. Okay, yeah, although you gotta swim a little bit faster here. Okay. Okay. Can't hold a breath too long. Okay. Okay, I'll do long. She's got to swim fast. Okay. One of them doesn't look too good. No, that's two. Is that a Nora? Yes, it is. It is me. Are you okay? Who are you? Corvin sent me. Are you hurt? Uh, my leg. 
I... I was a little too close to the blast. What happened? We were blasting in the farthest tunnel, but the scaffolding didn't hold. It collapsed. I... I think it blocked the drainage shaft. Water started flooding the place as quick as I drink ale. I barely managed to drag us here. So something's keeping the water inside the tunnels. What are you thinking? I've got an idea. Are there more explosives? Are you crazy? Yeah. She'll still be some up top, but... You'll need these fuses. Are you crazy? You can't move. And I'm not leaving you here. It's not like she can make things worse. Don't go anywhere. I need to find whatever's blocking that drainage shaft. And blow it sky high. Hopefully without bringing your mind down on top of me. Alright. I'm stuck, dice? Okay, there we go. So I probably need to check what's down here then. Alright, let's do it. Boom. Wow, that drains our stamina quite a bit though. That does drain a lot of stamina though. Made it. There's the debris blocking the shaft. I can reach those explosives up on that track. Maybe I can blast with the blockage. I have a long way to go. Can we that? Okay, we got down. That's probably a bad idea. Oh. Okay. Kind of jeez it there a little bit. Okay, can we get to this? Ah! No. <laughs> nope, unfortunately not. Okay, well, at least I can find out what's in this chest here. Woo! Excellent. More stuff here, it looks like. Can't get you there, though. About to climb to here. Oh, look at that. A little wire here. Gonna, I have a feeling it's gonna be not too many action here. Uh, it is what it is. Uh oh. A lot of machines here. Maybe I can see that. Okay. Whoa, got some loot down here. Mind if I do. Okay. So we definitely got some machines here. Can't see her too long though. Come on, come on. Ooh. They definitely spook a little bit. We gotta climb here or climb over here. Oh, we could try to swim right under him. Got some chests here. Woo! Uh oh. I'm fucking stuck. I'm stuck. Are you kidding me? I can't get out. I can't get out. I can't get out. <laughs> I can't get out. What the fuck, game? I can't get out. Okay, well, I, I can't do nothing about that because I got stuck. So, wh what can I do? What can I do with the game glitch the heck out there? That's cool. Guess I didn't bother testing that shit out. <laughs> okay. Get a few machines. Gotta worry about this one here. That's pretty much it. Okay, 
Okay, shouldn't be too many, uh, those assholes around. Okay, he's a little bit spooked. Sees his buddy. He's fine. I'll give us an opportunity to kill his ass at least. You did. God, Lee. Yeah, damn, these things were annoying. Shooter mushroom creates temporary stealth area. Okay. Good to know. See if they lead to the explosives. Probably do. I need to find a way up to those explosives. I'll use this probably. In the meantime, let's pour this though. Uh, mm. Damn. Let's fucking kill myself, dude. <laughs> Are you fucking joking me? It was here the whole time? You serious? How the fuck am I supposed to know? Look at this bullshit. How the fuck am I supposed to know there's a, a path right there from this fucking angle? Are you shitting me? It was right here the whole time. Fucking dumb. I guess I was just goddamn plain stupid. But fuck, man. They really made that fucking annoying. Like, how am I supposed to know? How? How, how, how am I supposed to know there was something there? That there supposed to be a path there. No indicator at all. So I blame the, I blame the half of the game, and also blame myself as well because I'm just stupid, I guess. Cause fuck me. At least we can finally get the stupid damn quest there now. There's the explosives just on the track. Get the shit it's out of my way. What is that? Alright, let's get this stupid crap over with. I spend way too much time on this goddamn side mission than I would like to. Getting it the explosive, get me the fuck out of here. I'm done with this shit. Finally! This pack got its attention. There. Wow. I can take some, buddy. Hit you in the face there again. Get hit by that. Alright, time for me to go for it. Critical strike. Hmm. Uh. I try to hit that if I can. Fucking see, man. The goddamn camera in this game is fucking stupid. It's fucking stupid, man. Once you get to a certain area, the camera starts flipping out, and I can't see what's going on. So this game is really getting on my nerves now. Playing this game on ultra hard is a big, big mistake.
That's all of them. Now let's go check on those miners. Fuck, guys. I literally had to fucking cheat to kill these assholes. I was getting so fucking pissed off, I was not dealing with it, guys. If I have to fucking rely on cheese in the game, Ultra Hard is extremely imbalanced. Like, it is beyond imbalanced, dude. It's, it's so fucking stupid. Like, I can't believe that I have to cheese the game in order to win. In order to win, I have to cheese the game because Ultra Hard is absolutely terribly imbalanced. Like, it is completely unbalanced. Like, there is no fun to it. There is no fun to it. So fucking ridiculous that I have to fucking do crap like this. She's so dead. We don't know that. I'm here, fuckers. Looks like everyone's okay. <sighs> Let's get this shit done. I'm done with this game. After the side quest, I'm fucking You're done. Telling me. I'm done with this game. The game is really pissing me off. Up. Are you two okay from here? I can get this idiot down. Don't you worry. Thanks, kid. So done with this fucking dumb game. Let's get out of this stupid ass place. I'm fucking done with this goddamn game. Got your damn miners out. Was it worth it? Fucking hell no. This shit pisses me off. I found They're safe, <sighs> but could probably use a hand. Is that everyone? <sighs> it is. I tried to think what would have happened if you hadn't shown up. I knew we were blasting too much, but the man who staked the claim here, Ulvut, he kept pushing and pushing me. I tried to shield my crew from his constant demands every damn day. I... I should have been stronger. You were there for your crew when they needed you. That counts for something. Ulvut can threaten me all he wants. I am not letting my people back into those mines. Will you be all right? Yes. I can take it from here. You are owed, Huntress. Olven's name keeps coming up, and it's never good. Sooner or later, someone's gonna have to deal with him. Thank you, Huntress. I'll see the last two make it out. Eh, <laughs> Max Health? Is Max Health gonna make a difference in Ultra Hard Mode? Fuck no. It's not going to make a difference at all. I'm basically dying in one shot regardless, so it doesn't make a difference. Got this stupid mind cleared out at least. I don't see any other people out here. There is a need. There is a campfire, which I'll probably get this campfire and call it because this game really fucking pisses me off. So once we get this shelter done, we get the fuck out of here. I'm done. I'm through with this goddamn game. It's like they don't test ultra hard mode at all. They just fucking assume you know how to play the game and just one shot enemies galore. So I say a good balance, I guess. All right, guys. So we're back with some more Horizon Forbidden West. Uh, last we left off, we have explored a few areas here and there. We did manage to rescue some miners out from this Crimson Narrows without being extremely frustrated with the whole area being confusing. Plus, playing the game on Ultra Hard is probably the biggest mistake I made. But you know what? We're going to stick with it. I did thought about starting a new game and play on normal or hard, but we'll stick with Ultra Hard. Probably the biggest mistake, but, you know, maybe that's for the better. Maybe that will make me uh, play the game a little bit better. We shall see. But last we left off, we are pretty much into the Forbidden West, sort of. Uh, we have discovered that our friend Aaron is missing. So it is our objective to figure out what the hell is going on here. And uh, see what's going on here. Because we do got some more... Asset spitting stuff here. So 
whole bunch of dead guys here too. Which is not good. And there is a town right here. I'm not sure if the town is occupied or abandoned. Well, considering that we're seeing people walking around, I'm gonna assume the town is safe and sound. So we're gonna check out this town here and see what we can uh, do here. Cause as you can see, we got a lot of bots over there. Baron Light is another town too up here. If we go down a little bit further here, there's another town here called Baron Light. It definitely looks a lot bigger than the one over here. But yeah, I've just been exploring like you know some of the mountains here, and we did find like a few uh, collectible items here and there. There are some areas that we still can't get through. We do, we need a tool to get to those areas, so we can't go in there yet. Hopefully, we we'll get that tool soon rather than later. Uh, yeah, let's see what's going on in this town here. Don't see any people walking around. Want to come in, Savior? Yeah, sure. It's the Osram guys. Welcome to Chainscrape, Savior. Open up, guys. Jorah's orders. Good enough for me. We're like, all right, let him in, I guess. <laughs> Thanks, guys. By the forge. Petra? Aloy, what are you doing here? Uh, about time there was something worth looking this at. This was in the first dump. game. Uh, it's been a while since I played the first game, so. Not a moment too soon. I don't remember her. Come on. Alright, off uh, con. Damn brewery's the only thing I can count on in this place. Yeah, I heard. Machines, work stoppage. Oh, those are just the latest malfunctions. Chain scrape's always been a few tools short of a kit. <laughs> And right there is the biggest tool of all. Our land, not our problem. The bristlebacks are everybody's problem. Roland, you've heard of him. Yeah. But he's a story best told over a cold beer. Uh, Petra, Petra. I'm just passing through. I'm headed west. Oh. There's an embassy at, at Baron Light I need to make happen, and then I keep moving. Ah, of course. Bigger gears to grind. Well, Flame Hair, good to see you. You've gotta move on. Petra. But if you want a cold beer and a few laughs with an old friend, come find me at the brewery. Your choice. This old one guy sounds like trouble. Maybe Petra could use some support. But first things first, I need to find that workbench and upgrade my bow. Yeah, let's let's do that first. Alright, Lori, let's upgrade our weapons before we start doing any more crazy stuff. So here's the workbench here. Should be able to use this upgrade. Uh, none I've seen so far. We could upgrade our outfits here. Now uh, this does come. So this is uh, the stuff that we get from the. Pr I'm gonna assume if you pre-order the game or you buy the deluxe edition, you do get this outfits for free. So, I don't know. Should we bother upgrading this or not? So this one's more on melee damage, and this one is more on. Fire protection looks like. So I already upgraded him once. This one I haven't upgraded yet. Yeah, see the more upgrades you do, the more stuff you need to upgrade. So I'm just gonna stick with the basic for now. I'm gonna stick with the outfit we got. I'm kind of digging this outfit that she's wearing. Uh, we could make some more. Yeah, why not? Those are expensive. Yeah, it may be expensive. So we gotta make this trap count and not run into them. Last time I ran to my trap and I absolutely got wrecked. <laughs> so note to self, you can kill get killed by your own traps. So keep that in mind. 
talk to Hawken. Can we Shelter talk to him? closed. Yep. Can I still use the workbench? I ain't gonna stop you. Yeah, everything is just closed here. Well, it looks like we got to do some uh, side quests here to to open up some of the to open up some of the shops here. All right, we got anything to stash here that we need? Nah. Let's see, do we need this? Obtain by detaching the component with terry damage, upgrade weapons and outfits. Or oh, uh, we're gonna keep that for now. So this is what we have in our sash. Yeah, this is like all the pre-order stuff. Okay, I guess we'll just do some, uh, we'll probably just talk to some people around. Yeah, we've got two new quests here. Got an unknown here. Let's check out what's unknown here. Uh, I see anything in my scanners. Nope. Can I go here? Hey. Yeah. Hey, this looks... Interesting, dude, this is the brewery. Ah, there we go. Okay, so this is where to make the potions or or beer, I'm gonna assume. Okay, well, let's just do some quests here before we head out into Baron Light. I know you are in a, I know you're in a hurry, Alloy, but Sit around, relax, do some side quests, okay? Let's not do the main mission stuff yet. Uh, talk to Mildoff. Hey, Mildoff. Mildoff. Took some of your stew last time I went into the wild. Kept me going for a week. Felt like I could have put a strider in a sleeper hole. Enjoy it while it lasts. Sounds like you're serving up some uh, impressive provisions here. <sighs> Not again. You can have the discount too, but you'll have to come back later. I think you have me confused with someone else. Oven didn't send you? No. Oh, my apologies. It's just that his minions won't stop pestering me. <sighs> now I've even worn out my special grill. Since I'm in the midst of a crisis, perhaps you could skip to what it is you wanted? Some of your food? Of course. Let's ask him about Ova's people. Are Ova's people causing you problems? Oh yeah, they constantly demand my best. But this guy sounds like he needs some help. My signature dishes isn't built for batch cooking. And don't get me started on the Oven discount they feel so entitled to. And if you refuse, I make meals. No trouble. Uh, let's ask him about this place. How did you end up in Chainscape? Heard about a new and upcoming town at the edge of the frontier. Where there's a town, there's a tavern. That was a need of work. So I got myself out here and started cooking. Some of these people had never tasted proper boars and berries stew before. Anyway, next thing I knew, people kept coming back. I guess they like my food. Or the ale. All right, let's ask about the food situation. Your last customer mentioned your cooking really kept him going out in the wild. Where I'm headed, I could use some of that. I would be happy to oblige, especially since you have the decency to ask pleasantly. But? But my special groove griddle is no more. Without it, I can't cook any of my signature dishes. I hate to think what'll happen when I'm forced to refuse Olven or his goons. Even if I already had the right ingredients, there's nothing I can do. Unless you can source me a temporary replacement? What do you need? For the ingredients. A few pieces of decent wild meat, and I'd say a big handful of bitter leaf stems. That'll do. As for the griddle, a corrugated metal panel might suffice until I can have a new one forged. You'd likely find one in a scrounger pile if you follow the river to the northeast. Don't worry, I'll clean it first. <laughs> You'll have no issue finding boars and bitter leaf on your way, assuming you're as much a hunter gatherer as your clothing suggests. Thanks, Mildiff. I'll keep an eye out. So that's what gratitude sounds like. And don't let anyone push you around, okay? If you say so. Man here is cooking food. 
Just need to grab a metal panel from the scavenger pile. Oh, so I got the meat. I just need the metal panel. All right. Is your set and done? Okay, and then there's another side mission down here, which I'm gonna assume involve Ovad or somebody else. Who are you? Oh, it is Ovad. Oh, it's this guy. What do you want, Ovad? Some kind of payment, my dear magistrate. Never mind. I thought it was somebody else. can be bought. It's a completely different guy. All you have to do is have your soldiers remove the bristlebacks and sign the concession decree. Face it. What other choice do you have? <clears throat> Hi. Savior, what auspicious timing. Might we discuss a matter of importance to the Sundom? We might. Later. Very well. I shall be waiting. So, the Savior herself. Walloper of Durval, gutter of use. <sighs> Maybe. I've heard many tales of your beauty and heroics, my fierce lady warrior. Olfant Freehold, at your service. So, fancy, it's a fancy lad. could have dragged you away from the fine silks and wine of Meridian to this smudge of a settlement. Your saviorly attention must be needed elsewhere. I'm here for the embassy and- The embassy? Why, well, uh, by the forge. Ah. Greater gears for greater matters. Guess that means you'll be moving on. Once I've dealt with any problems around here that need my saviorly attention. Ah, the bristlebacks, of course. Got to get rid of them if you want that embassy to take place. Well, best get to it, hey? And off you go. Not so fast. You and the Karja. You don't seem to have a high opinion of the Magistrate. I'm gonna ask well, some questions I first. I refuse to play nice to some fancy-robed parchment pusher when my fellow laborers are being bullied, intimidated, and taken advantage of. How noble of you. Noble, ha! Born with a hammer in hand, I was. Nobody handed me anything or dropped opportunity into my lap. Everything I've achieved, I've done on my own. And where is this hammer now? The, uh, burden of leadership forced me to set it aside. The Karja risk nothing while demanding that good Osram gamble with their lives out there. Someone had to step up and say no more. This guy seems... Doesn't seem like a weird asshole, but you can see why a lot of people don't like this guy. Uh, work stoppage. the work stoppage? Why? Indeed I did. We're laborers, not soldiers. Until the Karja clean up their mess and give us the fair deal we deserve, I'm not risking Osirum lives! Fair deal? You mean your concession decree? <laughs> it's not my decree. It's on behalf of all the good Osirum laborers of this land who do all the backbreaking work, while only the Karja reap the rewards! All we're asking for is the ability to share in this prosperity for a land worked by the people, for the people! Right. And just how much would be your share? Only an amount appropriate to my contributions to this community, uh, of course. Uh, who the heck appointed you? Yeah, that's a if good Jane question. If Scrape is on Karja land, shouldn't a Karja be in charge? Who appointed you? The sensibilities of good Osram folk, of course. You think a Karja can head this whole venture? Ha! Ah! The Magistrate can barely make the trek from Baron Light without losing a few screws. So you have no real authority then? People only follow you because you say so. Loudly. Anyone who has followers has authority. I've been with Chainscrape from the beginning. I mean, I'm practically its founder. And its honest folk know I'm indispensable to its success. <laughs> okay, this guy is... <laughs> he's full of shit. You said you founded Chainscrape. Somehow I doubt that. Practically founded, I said. I alone saw its potential when it was just a smattering of tents in barren light shadow. I invested in the mine, convinced some friends back home to do the same, and here we are. You could say Chain Scrape is what it is thanks to me. Oh, so you're not just standing around and profiting off everyone else? Not at all. 
sure, I make a little return on my investment here and there, but my main priority, as it was from the beginning, is to look after the well-being of these honest, working Osram. Yeah, he kind of full of shit, but it doesn't seem like the big, the big old big dick. Uh, but yeah, let's ask him about the bristleback situation. Right in the middle of town, but with the threat out there, I'm not endangering innocent Osram lives. I'm going to clear out the bristlebacks, and when I'm done, this valley is going to get moving. If that's what it takes. Until then, I'll keep looking after the safety of these good folk. Just be ready to blow the whistle. Yeah, here's the thing though, he's, he's definitely not going to blow the whistle. <laughs> this is the type of guy I'm like, nah, I don't think so. I don't think so. Not in a long lifetime. Not sure why I start talking like Donald Trump. <laughs> okay, so we did saw a few bristleback along the road, so we could probably... Let's see what that Karja magistrate wanted. I bet he's in the tavern. Oh, so we have to talk to the Karja guy first. Okay. I was getting ready to go out there and kill some bristlebacks. But looks like I got to head inside the tavern first and talk to the council guy. 